for another video for joining me for the first time. Hello! I went to a charity shop and they had this basket full of $2 miscellaneous little toys. So basically every bag was $2 New Zealand. Um, I'll put a conversion down the bottom there. And I decided to have a tiny bit of a lucky dip. I basically picked out four kind of what I thought was full bags and I've seen a little bit on the outside what's inside them. I don't know if they're going to be good or if they're going to be junk, but it's sometimes fun to have a bit of a lucky dip. So I'm going to start with this one first. And when I picked this up, I immediately, I did see the La La Loopsy toy in there, <laughs> but the rest of it might be, you know, McDonald's toys. I don't know. So I collect La La Loopsy toys, so I'm always on the look for these pets. I picked them up for a dollar, 50 cents to a dollar each. Here it is. The first toy out of the bag this little ladybird and I'm quite happy with this one out of the two dollar bag um, I'm hoping there's something else in there to make it worthwhile but I just wanted to have a fun lucky dip day and you know sometimes it's fun just to grab something and see like a kind of like a lottery ticket if you did any good so I'm assuming this is a Charlie Brown McDonald's toy he's a bit wobbly there my kids love the Charlie Brown movie I've never actually really brought Charlie Brown stuff though so we got another McDonald's Charlie Brown it's got a does it work nope <laughs> so these Charlie Browns are cute but nothing that we collect so I'm not going to keep these let's have a look oh I've got a little Woodstock bird on a I think my kids actually got this one from McDonald's on a looks like a sled there so I'm thinking that the rest are going to be McDonald's toys, which means effectively on this one it's $2 for the La La Loopsie toy. But again, like I said, I'm going to have fun and see how I go on these bags because you never know. <laughs> Alright, so that was, I think that's from Madagascar, McDonald's toy. What else have we got here? Okay, we've got a Snoopy. <laughs> Someone like Peanuts, obviously, who donated this bag playing an organ there so the last two things in there we do have an Applejack McDonald's toy which I might actually keep we didn't get all of the McDonald's My Little Ponies and you know My Little Pony Generation 4 is very very collectible and especially now that it looks like it's going to be jumping into Generation 5 I'm really into um, saving as many of those as possible I have no idea what this is um, it's the last toy in there and it's a little horse it's not a little people I do collect the little people figurines but uh yeah so for the first bag I'm um, all the McDonald's toys I'll be giving back to the cherry shops but um apart from the my little pony the only thing I'm really excited about in that bag was the la la loopsy pet which I'm not sure whether I have her or not so that was pretty cool Hopefully we're going to get better out of the packs and not a whole bunch of McDonald's toys. I'm going to try this one next. This one's quite full. This is why I picked this one. And I did see the Furby on the top. So Astra may already have this one. This is just one of the cheapy plastic um, Furbies. She may already have this one, but we're going to keep it and see. So that is something that will go in the keep pile. What have we got next? Okay, we've got a dinosaur. <laughs> you know what? I'm amazed after Instagram the amount of people that collect these little plastic figurines. Not for me. I'll put that back in the donation pile. Not for me. And then we have a donkey. And, oh, now if this was a Schleek or an Animal Planet, I'd probably keep it. Or a Papo. Papo. But, um, no, this is a something else I don't know what this is safari I have some safari figurines but I don't think they're as good quality as the um schleeks <laughs> alrighty some little kid would love this we have a Peppa Pig figurine Peppa Pig and another one in there I can see right after it <laughs> someone would love these Peppa Pigs so I'm going to give them back to the charity shops we have a bouncy ball, which I'm definitely going to keep. There is always room in the house for bouncy balls. We've got another ball coming out. I keep my hand here. This can go in the bin. I don't think the charity shops are going to appreciate this coming back to them. 
Okay, what's next? Oh, we have a teething ring. I, you know, I'm gonna say this. I've seen so many things like this that get donated to the charity shops. And honestly, if it's been used, please don't donate this sort of stuff. It's disgusting. I don't know why anyone, yeah, this has been teethed on. This sort of stuff, I'm, I'm sorry, but you know, just dump things like this. Don't give it to the charity shops. Even the charity shop ladies don't like it. Um, we've got another rather sad looking dinosaur. <laughs> Oh, it might be a loss in this one too. I'm not winning on the um, the two dollar bags. I'm trying to make this as fast as possible. We have a donkey and another donkey. My goodness, donkeys for every I think I think they're donkeys. They don't look like horses to me. And a ball, a Ratley ball. Look at that. Thing. I'm just going to move the camera down because I've noticed it keeps focusing on something in the background. Just one moment. Alright, so hopefully it stops focusing. But the next thing might make up for it is this Le This is Lego. Now, I don't know about your country, but my country Lego is super duper expensive. I'm pretty sure this looks like Lego. Yeah, it looks like Lego. And, um... Yeah, so these little mini figurines, the blind bags for one figurine is five to six dollars New Zealand anyway. So that is a good find. Let's keep put that in the keeper pile. What have we got? We have a piston cup trophy. I'm assuming this is meant to go with some sort of race course or something, but um nothing that I want, so we'll put that away. Oh, we've got a Barb's troll. I'm definitely keeping this. Um I know this is a McDonald's toy. I love trolls. Um, if you've seen some of my ones in my collections, you'll know I love trolls. I never got any of the McDonald's toys, so that's a definite keeper. Oh, we've got a whole bunch. Oh, that ball's a keeper. I'll put that away. We've got another dinosaur. Rawr, rawr. <laughs> some little kid's going to love those. I just give them back to the charity shops. If I'm not going to use them, there's no point in me keeping them. So I like to donate them back, and they can resell it. So we have a flying dinosaur, a rather cheeky looking, very rubbery dinosaur. I've seen so many people on Instagram that collect these things. I really didn't know they were such a big thing, these little plastic figurines. I used to have them all when I was a kid. I just, I didn't realize there was such a following. Another donkey. Someone loves dinosaurs and donkeys. And these are the old style dinosaurs where the tails would like fall on the ground, you know, before they, the uh, scientists think, hey, now the tails stay up. Got lots of little dinosaurs here. I quite like these rubbery ones. And then we've got a little rabbit. Now I love rabbits, but I don't, I'm not into a, keeping a plastic rabbit. So that's another thing. So out of the second $2 bag, I kept Barb the Troll the Lego, the Furby, and the plastic ball. I'm quite happy with the Lego. I love spare pieces of Lego, to be quite honest. Next. <laughs> what was my feeling so far on the $2 bags? Eh. <laughs> I kind of was expecting a bunch of junk, and most of it, I'm not saying this is junk, you might be something absolutely you love in here, but to me it's nothing that I collect. So, and the other pieces, were all, apart from the Lego, I wouldn't say 50 cents, but the other pieces I can pick up for 50 cents. So we've got a, um, a Gumball McDonald's figurine here, that's nothing I collect. Now this I saw on the outside when I did pick up the bag. It looks like... It needs a vinegar wash as it's been in water and you can see the mold growing in here. However, I think this is super duper cute and I really want to put this in my bathroom. <laughs> she really, really liked this. So this is going in the keeper. We have a, um, a spinner, I think it is. Shows how much I do the housework. I am actually, I do a lot of um, DIY jobs around the house, but I'm not. I know hammers and spanners and things like that. What is, this is a little wooden, I don't know. <laughs> a little wooden toy, I'll put that over here. 
Okay, we have a sideshow bob. So maybe this is going to be the Simpsons bag. I'd l no, I honestly, I think I'll donate it back. I'm not into sideshow bob. And a groundskeeper willy. <laughs> Someone will be saying, oh, I click the Simpsons. I really like that. Okay, so in my country, they had these little like sound things that you could get buy from the grocery store nothing that I want ah it's interesting it looks like a little bag is there anything inside it Ugh. kind of reminds me of a Playmobil bag they open up like this mm, no that can be donated back always oh, got a little wooden deer now green on one side brown on the other <laughs> so this is when your deer goes from happy to plagued <laughs> Oh, skateboards. Uh, no, there's a wonky wheel on it. I was going to say, Blake actually kind of likes those tech decks, you know? He puts his fingers on them and drives them and stuff. Eh, we'll donate that back. This I will definitely keep. I love little beads like this. And look at this for a craft thing. This is leaf and rosebud beads. Now, I know it's on a bracelet, but nothing to stop me chopping it and making a gorgeous necklace for my BJDs out of this. That's a definite keeper. I like, like, like that. Okay. It's not a Kelly doll. Is it an Eevee doll? I think it might be an Eevee doll or maybe a kid core. It's one of those ones. Um, a cute little dolly in here. Ah, I didn't know there was any dollies in there. Yeah, this is really cute. I like the dress on it. I like the shoes. That's a keeper. That's cool. I like that. Oh, we've got a spin. Frozen stuff is generally banned in my house. The few that I get, I have to hide from my daughter. I don't know what this is. We've got a rather robust little girl figurine. So, uh, yeah, nothing that I keep that can be donated back. And, yeah, is this something that someone... Looks like a bird chew toy, like some sort of animal chew toy. It hasn't been used because the wood's intact. But um, yeah, nothing that I'm going to keep, so we'll put that away. Lots going back to the charity shops. Okay, so it's a pencil topper toucan. I might actually keep that. I might actually keep that. That's actually something I'd like to keep. Oh, and yes, a Hamtaro. I love Hamtaro. It's a little pencil shop to ham taro. So we've got a couple of pencil toppers in there. So from the third bag, the things we're keeping um, is the ham taro, the bracelet, the Simpsons, which I'll give a wash to, the little dolly, and the toucan. So not too bad. For $2, honestly, looking at this stuff, 50 cents each, I'd probably pick up the dolly for 50 cents to a dollar, this for 50 cents. So it kind of works out. Works out about $2 worth when you think of it that way. There's one bag left. Now, I did leave this bag to last because I noticed that there was a fingerling in there. And I know that a lot of you love fingerings. Um, and when I was asked by people when fingerlings first came out what I thought of them, my honest answer was they don't have a lot, lot of play um, style in them. Basically kids will stick them on their finger, they'll make a bunch of noises, they'll play with them for about 10 minutes and then they'll get over them. So I told people um, to pretty much buy the ones if you've got a unicorn or something that you want for your kid but don't go overly bored and collecting them or anything because I'm pretty sure they'll end up in the charity shop bags and I've got so many fingerlings working condition for 50 cents to a dollar from the charity shops. So this is a two dollar bag. So I'm quite happy with this one, just with the fingerling in there. So we've got this little monkey dude. And it works good. It's cute. So these things, of course, being... They're like the wearable fidget spinners, something for kids to, you know, poke in <laughs> and make a bunch of noise. It's cute, and I'm happy with that. What else have we got in here? We have a plastic plane that can go back. Oh, doggy that's lost its legs. Why do people donate this stuff? Look, honestly, don't donate job junk to the charity shops. You know, stuff like this, 
let's be honest, it's just gonna go in the bin. So I'm just gonna not donate them back. I'm not gonna insult them and <gasps> donate them back. Oh, it's missing an arm. It's a Pokemon. I, I, that's a Pokemon figurine, but he's lost an arm. How uncool is that? Easily would have paid $2 just for this guy. Honestly, Pokemon figures go for so much in my country. I don't know why. Oh, we're back to dinosaurs. <laughs> this is, n there's two of them, I think. Um, I don't know what sort of dinosaur this is, or if it's a dinosaur, or it's got a screw in there. Oh, interesting. But, um, yeah, two very scary looking lizard creatures. Oh, the arm! Oh, please don't, does it fit in? Yes! Oh, I'm so happy. This bag is totally okay with this. If I'm quite happy to pay $2 just for this figurine and still think I'm making a major bargain because Pokemon figures just go for so much and are so sought after. How cool is he? And it is official. Tomy Nintendo. Cool! <gasps> she says and she looks at the bag. Oh, well, maybe the other bags kind of worked out okay, but I think this one is going to make up for all of them. First off, let's get past this dinosaur. I mean, I love Jurassic Park figurines. Don't get me wrong. I'm just not really into these little plastic ones. Ew, this feels disgusting. It's like it's, it's like a weird rubbery, rubbery moss feel. You remember Moss Man from He-Man? He feels like that. <laughs> da Delwyn the Dwarf. What on earth is that? Okay. Middle Earth. Oh, is it a Lord of the Rings? Oh, this must be a Lord of the Rings figurine from Middle Earth. I have no idea, but I'm going to hold on to that, and I might do a bit of research on that. That's kind of cool. But look, oh, it's another Pokemon figure, and it doesn't look broken in any way. Oh, wow, so cool. Again, I would have happily paid $2 just for this, just to have the Pokemon figure. So, that isn't the one I just saw, though. The one I just saw, Pokemon 2013. Sylveon. Again, happily paid two dollars just for this. So this bag is making up for any suck in the other bags. <laughs> this is awesome. I can't believe I got, I'm getting Pokemon figures. And a La La Loopsie. Oh, I saw the La La Loopsie, I'm gonna say, and I knew there was a La La Loopsie in there somewhere. Oh, the La La Loopsie um, pet. But look, there's a little Lala Loopsie doll, so cute. Love, love, love. I think that's mittens, isn't it? Mittens or something. Um, we've got a bunch of elephants coming out. Hang on. Let me get all these. We've got a bunch of elephants. Wooden elephants coming out. So I actually have a large collection. <laughs> surprise, surprise of wooden African animals um, that I've collected since I was in my 20s. So I'll put these all up on display. So again, these are all things that I will actually keep. They need their trunks restored. That's nothing. We've got more Pokemon figures coming. Look at this. Is that a Groudon? Pokemon Nintendo 2014. How cool. Wow, I got a super bargain in this bag. We're ending really well. We have a fireman man and a dolphin. Got Echo the dolphin there. Um, what have we got in this corner? Oh, I've got a peach. And you can tell they're official as well, just by the quality in the painting. This is really, really cool. A little Pichu. We have a little plastic cat. Things going over this way, uh, uh, not for keeps, these things are for keeps. Oh, it's a, um, how to train your dragon head. <laughs> See, things like this confuse me. Why would you donate this? Uh, maybe if it had the body, maybe they've separated the body through the sorting facility, but if you just donated this, it, what's the charity shop gonna do with it other than throw it in one of these sort of bags? So what have we got here? Black. Kurum. Oh, so Kurum is a Pokemon. Is that this big guy? Nope. 
This one. Ooh. Yes, yes, yes. How cool is that? He's even got a little stand. That is so cool. Something like this will cost you like mm, about just under the $10 range to buy. Pokemon figures are so expensive in my country. Honestly, it's um, a bit scary. We have a plastic alligator. I know who this is because I've been told many times by my daughter this is Arceus who is effectively the god of Pokemon. Is he an official figure? Yep, Nintendo. Yep, copyright Nintendo. Little Arceus there. How cool. And this is definitely official. I can tell just by the painting. I've seen the fake ones before and they look... They have a shine to them. Look, a little Pikachu! And we are ending on a high note on Pikachu. So those were my four bag two dollar bags now i'm gonna say the first three bags are kind of cool i mean things like this i don't mind getting because they help complete my collection so if i don't have her i can tick her off my list and put her in my storage box for la la loop season set another one ticked off my list um things like this lego lego is super expensive as i was saying it's five to six dollars to get one blind bag for green um in New Zealand you get cute little things like this Hamtaro and stuff stuff that I'd normally just pick up for 50 cents if I was at the markets but I've got to say that last bag for New Zealand two dollars with all these Pokemon figures and they're all official absolutely took the cake and made the entire I spent eight dollars all up entire eight dollars worth it because I would have happily paid two dollars for these figurines just to have these for Astra's collection that is the end now can I pick a favorite yes I can this is absolutely my favorite out of the lot I love Lala Loopsy so much I love this gorgeous little girl they're just cute little figurines Lala Loopsy dolls have an innocence to them that has always attracted me um, Many of the dolls out today, you know, they have a bit of a Bratzish vibes, a bit of a kind of daring, risky sort of vibe to them. La La Loopsy has always been innocent and sweet, and I really, really love that. You don't see that too often in dolls nowadays. Thank you very much for watching, guys. If you love thrift store hauls, please give this video a thumbs up. I know it's a bit different from what I usually do, but New Zealand's just come out of its second um, lockdown, so I am saving up for an another doll haul, secondhand doll haul pretty soon. You'll get to see some of the things I've already posted on Pokemon, uh, on Pokemon, on Instagram, a little bit of a tidbit of things coming on that. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.